Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll show you how you can use Langchain to build a chatbot where you can ask any question to a PDF on your computer. This is the PDF we're going to work with. It's an example PDF I just downloaded from Google. You only need a couple of lines of code to do it. So you need something called the Pi PDF Loader, which is coming from the Langchain community. It's a plugin uh, from Langchain. And then you have an array called Documents. You uh, tell the loader to go through the PDF and then create chunks from the PDF. Each chunk is going to be a document. And as you go through it, you create this array of documents. And then there is this function called get answer from LLM. We're going to take a look at it very soon. But you essentially pass the list of documents to the function and the question that you have. Let's take a look at the answer and then we're gonna take a deep dive at this function over here. So let's go ahead and run it. So we're gonna run pdf.py and then you're gonna see some debugging statements and then finally the answer is that the customer return rate is 80%. If I quickly look at the PDF, you're gonna see the segment here that says that the return customer rate is now 80%. Okay, so clearly the, the LLM model can give you the correct answer. Now, if we take a look at the function here, uh, I'm just gonna quickly click onto it. So you're gonna see what this is doing is, at first it's printing out the question, which you see here. The function is taking your question and the list of documents. Again, the list of documents is chunks from the PDF. Then you call this function called the get k relevant documents. Let's take a look at what this function is doing. So you get the debug statement, which says storing uh, the number of documents into vector store. It creates a vector store, which is an uh, in-memory database from the document. So it's gonna it's gonna break up the PDF into chunks, and then for every chunk, it's gonna turn it into a vector, and then it's gonna store the vectors in uh, in your in-memory vector store. I'm using an in-memory vector store, but this can be any vector database like uh, Pinecone, ChromaDB, anything else. And then one thing I am passing to this function here is OpenAI Embedding. So this is uh, this is the class that the, that the vector store will use to actually create the vector. Uh, you can pass it, you can pass it uh, uh, embedding function from any other provider. I think Anthropic has one. Uh, I think Perplexity has one. But I'm using OpenAI because everything right now we're using is coming from the OpenAI API. So you do need to pass it the OpenAI embedding just to make sure that as as the as the code is storing each of the vector from the chunk, uh, it does know how to create the embeddings. So once the embeddings are created. Now you have an in-memory data store where your PDF is broken down into chunk, and for every chunk, you have the corresponding vector. Once you have the database stored, now we need to retrieve the relevant chunk from that database. So you do something called the similarity search, which is a method that comes with the in-memory vector store. And what it does is it takes the question it creates a vector from your question, and then it compares that question, the vector from that question, to all the other vectors that you stored in the in-memory data store. The similarity search function does the comparison and then returns to you a K number of answers that are uh, most relevant. So instead of answer, I should say the most relevant chunks of text. So just to run you through an example, when, when you're creating embedding from this PDF, what's gonna happen is, let's say this is gonna become one chunk, so the sales section, and then maybe another chunk's gonna be the, the New York section here, right? So what the function will do is, uh, give me one second, here you go. So what the similarity search does is it compares the embedding or the vector of your question to all the different chunks that are here and then sorts them in the order where the first chunk is the most likely uh, to have your answer, and then second and then third. 
So in the function here, I'm passing it k equals to three. That means it's gonna take in the question and then return the three most relevant chunks where you're most likely to get your answer. And then once you get the, get the chunks, you return those back to this function. Now the relevant documents will have the relevant chunks. Now you call the chat OpenAI LLM model, you pass in all the chunks, so all the text from those three documents, and then you pass this message to your, to your LLM model where you're telling your LLM model to use all the chunks that you think the answer should be in, and then you give it the question. And then finally you invoke the uh, LLM here, and this is what you end up getting uh, over here. So it's not always gonna be super accurate because we're not doing any kind of optimization, but from every single time I played around with it, it more or less got the correct answer. So we're gonna try one final example before we close it. So let's go back to our PDF here. Okay. So let's try to find something we wanna ask a question about. Uh, so let's say the launch of, so let's ask where where would the launch of dry lab 3.0 happen? Okay, so let's go here. Uh, where will the, uh, dry lab 3.0 launch take place? Let's see if we can get the right answer. Yeah, that we have the debugging statements. Uh, it says that the launch will take place at the International Broadcasters Convention in Amsterdam. Uh, and that is exactly where it'll happen. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you folks in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.